Hello everyone, welcome to scardia.com. I'm Dr. Sanan Rahman and today we're talking about the great gender reveal. Yes, when a child is being born, the parents are very excited to share the gender with the family. However, it's a completely different story within the embryo. There are great many factors that come into play so that the gender of the child may be determined. In this lecture, we'll see what are these factors and how they act on the child, the fetus at this moment. This lecture is about the development of external genitalia. In this lecture, we have five subsections. The first section is about the indifferent stage of the gonad. In this stage, the gonad is neither male or female. However, various influences act on this gonad so that may develop into a specific set of uh, adult uh, structures. Then we'll see the development of male genitalia in the second stage. We'll see how an indifferent gonad under the influence of male hormones uh, makes the male uh, reproductive system. In the third section, we'll see in the absence of male hormones and the presence of female hormones, how this in the, uh, uh, indifferent gonad turns into the adult female reproductive system. In the fourth section, we'll see the clinical correlation as to what happens when either the development or the influence of the uh, hormones uh, is not there and or what are the developmental defects that may occur in the embryo uh, with regards to the development of reproductive system. And finally, we'll see in the fifth section that how the testes and ovaries, that is the adult reproductive organs, are carried to their respective locations, respective adult locations in the body. We'll see where they are formed initially and finally what locations are assigned to them in the adult body. I hope you're excited about today's lecture. For further such lectures, keep watching scardio.com.